boats sitting in the mud. You can see one over here. When he goes to the other side of the bridge, you'll definitely see of this space freighter in 2008. Whoa. Lottie Williams has the distinction of being the only person ever to the operations center to monitor the space station's re-entry. The control room on high alert, tracking the station's every move. Not anywhere, including a large stretch of the U.S., from Northern California to New York. This is uh, an uncontrolled entry. Uh, Anyone who suspects they have encountered debris from the space station should report it by calling 911 and stay at least 150 feet away. People know their lives are in danger. Maybe they have to take a chance to take a chance. Maybe they have to take a chance to take a chance. China has been in the space station for a long time. drag that is the, the drag of the thin little bits of atmosphere that are slowly pulling it down out of space bring down the station and that drag is very very hard to understand and to predict because the the atmosphere and that altitude it's because of our trade deficit with the, uh, <laughs> with the Chinese I don't know but in 1978 we had the mother of all such incidences when a if some of the space station does hit solid ground, it might look like this. Our advice, don't go near it. It could be toxic and it officially still belongs. Tiangong Space Station in 2011. Tiangong means heavenly palace, but it's really just one of more than half a million pieces of space jammed up on the ground. Like this 500 pound chunk of a rocket that crashed near a Texas farmhouse. Before this one came down, people said, ah, be toilet or do you take your chances in, 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 in like a little uh tupperware or a, a match match book no you shit in the toilet your head tie any kind of like fabric or maybe tape like paper around your mouth so you're not inhaling any fumes maybe or there have been 13,000 tons of space hardware coming down in the whole history of space flight and there's no single reported casualty could land in, but it also includes the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans as well. So scientists are hoping that it doesn't make landfall and that it is... Relax. China launched the Tiangong Space Station in 2011. Tiangong means heavenly palace, but it's really just one of more than... The possibilities include the southern three quarters of the United States, all of southern Europe and Asia, as well as... So, uh, yeah, that can do some damage. It's expected to re-enter Earth's atmosphere tomorrow afternoon, and there's a chance it could land in... We, we don't want to be... We don't want to think that this is the body of the body. We want to think that these people are... We want to think that these people are... And it just did pass over the United States. You can see right there, it keeps wanting to pull back center because I got it centered. This time it's going to go... <laughs> Though scientists think the edges of Tiangong 1's orbit would be more likely for re-entry since it spends more time in those zones. 